Okay, my students. Making up some videos here. Probably finish them up tomorrow. But the first one we're going to do is name that graph. You should be able to tell me what the graph would be just by looking at the equation. So, what's true about a line? Well, a line usually comes two ways. Slope-intercept or what's called standard form. Either way, when the x and y are the same side, the powers are 1. So, if I subtracted them x, it still have powers of 1. Then we got the angle or V-shape. Either way, I'll take it. And now when you should know, V-shape you got the absolute value. That should be easy. Oh my god, absolute value. Then we got the parabola. Or in my head I said parabola, so I remember how to spell it. And that's where you have one of the terms is squared, one of them is not. Then we have the circle. And the key to a circle is that both are squared. You're adding them when they're on the same side. And it's the same denominator or coefficient. Ellipse, which has two L's, is sum of squares also, but the coefficients or denominators have to be different. So it looks a little different here. But then the last one we did was hyperbola. And a hyperbola, when they're on the same side, you're subtracting them. And they're both squared. Bottoms can be the same or different, either way. But difference of squares. So, oops. For these five, right now, name them. I'll give you a couple seconds. Okay, you should be able to do this like five seconds of problem. So, we have square plus square, different coefficients, so it's ellipse. Here we have a V-shaped graph or an angle. Either way you want to do it. Absolute value. Here, when I add the square to both sides, it's a sum of squares, same denominator, circle. Here, I get them to the same side. I subtract the Y squared. So it's a hyperbola. This one, oh, one squared, one not. Oh my goodness, that should be three points. You should be laughing, it's so easy. One squared, one not squared. Do the final six for me now. Name that graph. Okay, we just did this one. One squared, one not squared. Oh my goodness. The first one. The first power, so it's a line. This one, we have sum of squares, same coefficients or denominators. However you want to say it, it's a circle. This one, we got a square minus square. Oh my goodness. And this one, oh, I tried to trick you. You distribute the x, distribute the 3y, 
Hey, sum of squares but different coefficients. It's ellipse. So you might want to review those a couple times. Those are five-point problems right or wrong. Goodbye.